why are the oak trees dying? Are a lot of larger oak trees, why are they looking sick? And I've received a lot of questions like that over the last few weeks. And, um, and some of it is really um, uh, some of the weather we've been having and then also some contributing uh, factors that have made these, um, these problems even exacerbated. And then the, the master gardeners um, will help to answer some of the questions previously submitted and additional questions. If you're gonna um, ask any questions, um, those questions that you ask can, will go to the chat box, will go to the host and uh, the co-hosts. Um, so plants and extremes. Um, you know, a lot of times plants don't have the ability to shift from one gear to the next. It was cold two weeks ago, um, almost freezing temperatures, and now today it's humid and 85, 80, 88 degrees outside. Um, Drought last summer, floods the previous year, warm to cold within really short periods of time. And, you know, typically, um, you know, our seasons, um, typically where we have winter, where we have uh, spring, um, and then we don't go from winter to summer right away, our plants can usually adapt to this. Um, but even you saw, if you've tried to get your vegetable garden started too early, uh, you may have gotten zapped with frost or you had to do additional measures to make sure that those um, plants that are sensitive to frost, like tomatoes or anything else, um, had that protection. A lot of our plants that are out in the landscape, trees and shrubs and perennials, they need a period of dormancy, a period of rest. Um, this time is a period where if you can almost think about um, you're gearing up um, for a big event um, and and when, when Tori and I were talking about this yesterday, she's a lacrosse player. And we, we talked about how, um, you know, her, her coach would tell her, you know, it's time to carb up, you know, go and have your pasta dinner. Um, make sure that you get all your carbs stored, get some good rest for tomorrow because you got a double header or, you know, we got a big workout, whatever. Um, you know, make sure that those carbs produced during the growing season are then stored in the roots for the winter time. Now, if our winter time is not a period of rest for our plant for our plants, um, they um, don't have a chance to rest, so to speak. Uh, they expend those carbs um, and cannot survive the next season. And if this kind of goes on and on, um, this can happen um, slowly over a period of time. We notice that that gradual decline in our plants and our overall landscape. Um, the, the days, when days are getting shorter, this is when plants go into energy saving mode. And so August through November, they're pulling all of those carbs and those sugars down to the roots. Um, if there's still uh, plants that are kind of respirating um, photosynthesis, so to speak, water in the trunk, stems and leaves would freeze, causing major damage. Cells would, um, would lice or uh, would have frost damage, you see blackening, things that you saw if you had any kind of frost damage after that uh, recent uh, freeze over, over that period. Oops, I don't know why that did that. See, you know, and, you know, a lot of our plants that were already leafed out, um, we had um, maybe even leaves that were a little bit uh, smaller than this, as you see in the photo right here. And I'll, if you move, um, if you're look, wondering how to move the people around so you can't see it, you can also move them to the bottom of the page as well. Um, but, uh, but this kind of damage, this kind of, kind of um, ruffling on the leaves or distortion of the leaves, that is from frost damage way up in the canopy of our oak trees. And some of this extreme wild weather that we've had since 2015 and since before um, has led up to a lot of this decline. So I, I, I kind of just want to point that out so that people understand where this is all leading is to just really kind of understand that we got to care for a lot of the trees in our landscape, a lot of the larger plants, because they are more sensitive for sure than some of the younger trees that um, are, are planted as a whip, so to speak. Um, 
we saw a lot of oak decline, which was prominent in the late season of 2019. Usually um, this was something that we noticed as um, other things like drought stress, um, compacted root zones, if construction had occurred or digging in the root zone, um, urban heat islands, so to speak, trees that are um, on, a, on a median strip. We usually, folks may notice this kind of gradual decline over the years, but in general, there really is, um, there really is uh, sometimes that, that we don't notice it. And that then what we saw last summer was within three to four weeks, the tree was just gone and, um, and, and the tree was completely dead. And a lot of things that we saw might have been borers or other root problems. Um, sawdust at the base like you see here, or if you pulled back the mulch, there was some other fungus um, along the root collar of the trees that are, you know, these are 60, 70, 100 foot towering oak trees. Um, so every little bit counts, I guess, is one thing, is our message, is my message today. Um, and then also just to kind of keep an eye on this, if you got your mulch piled too high, pull it back from that root collar. Um, 